What's up my piano friends? I'm Zach Evans and today we're going to talk about the five big reasons you absolutely must learn your scales ASAP. Because as you'll see in the video, once you have your scales mastered, any new song you learn before you even practice it, you will have 70 to 80 percent of the muscle memory drilled in and you'll see exactly what I mean in the video. Make sure you stick around to the end, I'm going to be giving out some free PDF cheat sheets to help you learn your scales even faster. All right, I'm all jacked up and ready to go, let's get started. All right, reason number one why you absolutely must learn your scales has to do with muscle memory. Now, this is the fun, exciting reason to learn scales. And it has to do with this. Once you ingrain the muscle memory for all 12 major scales, you will have 90% of songs already learned without even practicing them. And let me explain what I mean by this. Now, whenever you learn a song, there's two things you have to learn, where right? you have to know mentally which notes to play next. That's the mental side of it. And then number step two is you have to be able to physically play the notes and get your fingers to actually play the notes in a smooth and consistent fashion. Now, for most beginners, the problem isn't knowing which notes come next. The problem is getting their fingers to actually do it, right? The, 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 that's the hard part for most beginners. Now, when we play any melody, any melody is going to consist of steps, and it's going to consist of skips and leaps. Now, steps are when the notes are basically one or two notes apart, half steps and whole steps. If you're not a music theory nerd, that basically just means the notes are really close together, right? So this would be a step, or this, or this. So if we play scales, we're basically working on the steps, the notes that come right next to each other really close together. Um, and the reason this is so important is if we take any melody in almost any genre, the, it will be comprised 70 to 80 percent steps, right? We don't hear many melodies that go like this. It just doesn't typically sound good. But if we take, for example, let's say Just The Way You Are, Bruno Mars. When I see your face, there's not a thing that's out of change. You're amazing, just the way you are. Let's break that down, okay? So the first couple notes, that's not a step. The notes are far away, right? When I see, but now let's look at all these notes. See your face, there's not a thing that's out of place. Da -da 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 -da. Those are all steps, right? And then we have a skip, a skip, but then step, skip, step, step. So in that melody, 70 to 80% of the notes are these steps. Let's take a classical song like Canon, right? Which, uh, even in that, right? We have skip, step, step, skip, step, step, leap, step, 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 step. step. So again, 70 to 80% of the notes in this are also steps. So what we want to do is we want to pre-drill in all these steps. And that's what scales do. We're drilling in the muscle memory for every different combination of steps on the keyboard, right? And then you do your next scale and it's... So when you're playing an actual song, no matter what steps you're using, it's always going to be already in your muscle memory because you've drilled in the muscle memory while you do scales. And that way, before you even touch the song and practice it at all, you already have the muscle memory for 70 to 80% of the song already learned. How cool is that? Think how much time that can save you if you front load all of this, this muscle memory right from the start. All right, reason number two you need to learn your scales has to do with reading music. And this is going to save you a ton of time if you're reading sheet music. So let me pull up this little example on the screen of the sheet music. Now, normally when you read sheet music, if you're a beginner, if you look at the key signature, this one has, has four sharps. So what most beginners do is they take each note and they say, okay, this is a C. Let's look at my sharps. This is an F. And here's a C. All right, so this C is sharp. So instead of C, I play C sharp. Let's look at the next note. Okay, D. So let's look back to our key signature. F, C, G, D. Okay, there's a D that's sharp too. So this D is sharp. And they literally go through their entire piece and every single note, they have to look back at the key signature and it takes forever to learn a song this way. Now, um, on the other hand, Actually, before I even get to that, 
What makes it even worse is let's say you get something wrong. So let's say this first C, you accidentally miss in the key signature that there was a C. You, you accidentally missed it for whatever reason. So instead of a C sharp, you play a normal C. Now this is dangerous because let's say you get to another C in the song, you might think, oh, I already checked this C and I know it's not a C sharp, so I know it's a C. And you play it wrong again. And throughout the entire song, every C you play wrong just because you mixed it up the first time and you checked the key signature wrong. Now the entire song, you're playing the wrong notes, you drill in all those patterns, and now you realize, oh shoot, actually the C was supposed to be sharp the whole time. Now you gotta go back and you gotta relearn the entire song with the correct, with the correct key signature. And this is a huge hassle. And not only do you have to relearn the song, but you have to undo your bad habits and then drill in good habits. So it actually takes you twice as long to learn the song. This sucks, this is horrible. And this is why it's important to learn scales. Because when you learn scales, you'll just know, okay, this key signature is an E major scale. And if I've mastered this scale, I know that the four black notes are these four, because that's what's in the scale. So now when I see a C, I'm just like, I know it can't be a C because I already know in the E major scale, there's no C, so it must be a C sharp. Same with D, same with F, and same with G. So it saves you a ton of time of going back and forth with the key signature. And I wish I could just like let you guys borrow my brain for a second so you can understand what it's like once you know your scales because it's almost like when you look at a keyboard, your brain can just kind of like see the notes of the scale and almost like these notes, will just light up for my E major scale and I can just know that these are the notes for E major scale. It makes it so, so much easier to learn. All right, reason number three, you gotta learn your scales has to do with playing by ear. It makes it so much easier to play by ear once you know your scales. Let me give you a quick example. So let's say we're learning the song, the Star Wars theme song by ear, right? Which goes. that little pattern, right? So let's say we know the first note, we got the first note, and we're trying to figure out the second note of the song. Now, we can already tell it's gonna be pretty far away, because it's dun, dun. So we, not, we know it's not gonna be close, it's not gonna be one of these notes, probably. We know it's not gonna be like way up here. So we use our ear, we can figure it might be like one of these six notes. Now, if we don't know our scales, we're gonna have to test each one of these notes, and we're gonna have to say, nope, that one's wrong. That one's wrong. That one's wrong. Oh, that's it. And it's gonna take forever, because even though that didn't seem like it took a super long time, when you multiply that over a thousand notes in a song, it takes a tremendous amount of time to do all these extra notes. Now, on the other hand, if you know that you're, you're using an E flat major scale, which just looks like this, and you just know what those notes are, you know it's not gonna be this note, it's not gonna be an A, it's not gonna be a B, because those aren't the notes in the scale. So you know, okay, it's probably just gonna be one of these two notes. So now you just test. Nope, that one's wrong. Oh, that one's right, okay. So it makes it so much easier to learn to play by ear as well because you can narrow down the list of possible notes. All right, let's go into reason number four. You absolutely must learn your scales and this has to do with crossovers. Now, this is a huge pain point for many beginner piano players. If you take most beginner piano players, if you leave their fingers in the same place and they're just, let's say, playing these notes and they have a whole song just here, it's not that hard. What tricks them up is when you have this, but then you have to move up here, you know? Or you have to move, you know, maybe you're playing these notes and you have to move down here. That's what gets tricky. That's what gets challenging because now your fingers have to find a completely new set of notes. So what we do with scales is we, since we're drilling in all these thumb under patterns, it makes it that much easier to, um, to play a song once you have these, these, these parts where you have to cross over and under in a scale. So let's do another example. So we're gonna take the same sheet music we we're learning before, we're gonna take this piece, and I'll just play the right hand real quickly. So it goes like this. So that first part. For most beginners, won't be too challenging once they give it a little bit of practice, but this part 
is extremely challenging for beginners because they have to do this, and they have to cross their thumb under, hit this note, and now they have to quickly find these two notes and this note without, you know, missing the notes or playing, you know, two notes at a time on accident or something like that. It's very hard to get that muscle memory and have to practice and practice and practice and practice to get that muscle memory in. However, if you've already mastered your scales and you've already mastered your E major scale, this muscle memory is drilled in because this part that we did in the song is just the same as this part of the scale. We're simply doing our E major scale. So that way, we already have this crossover drilled in. So when we do, it's already in our fingers. We just need to know the notes and mentally know it, but the physical side is already drilled in, which makes it so, so much easier to learn. All right, finally, reason number five, and this is an important reason as well, and this is the confidence that it gives you on the keys. Now, scales, it drills in this finger strength, dexterity, coordination, and what ends up happening is your fingers just have a good like feel for the keyboard, and I wish I could explain this feeling to you um, because I know what it is, and I've talked to other students, hey, what does it feel like once you master your scales, and they'll say different things like, yeah, my fingers just be, seem to be able to kind of snap to the notes. They just know what they're doing. They, they, people say they intuitively know which notes play next. And what happens is as you play scale after scale, your, your fingers almost know where they are on the keyboard without even looking at the keyboard. And they kind of know, okay, how wide are these notes? You know, and, and people that have practiced their scales a lot almost never run into the problem where they're playing you know, two notes at the same time on accident or they're slipping off the black keys because their fingers know exactly where these black keys are because they've played so many scales that have involved these black keys that they can find exactly in the middle of the note intuitively without even thinking about it. And a lot of people that are playing sloppy, they think it's just because, oh, I don't know the notes, but it's not true. A lot of times you'll know the notes mentally, it's just your fingers haven't developed that muscle memory yet. So why not practice your scales, drill in the muscle memory, and that way every time you play a new song, you're gonna have this kind of natural confidence on the keys and it's gonna be a lot smoother. All right, so now I'm gonna show you where to get some really helpful cheat sheets and resources that are gonna help you learn scales a lot faster. So if you just click the link in this video right now, it's gonna to go to this page and it's gonna say, say scales bonuses on it. Now all you gotta do is enter your first name and your email, hit get my bonuses, and that's gonna take you to this page. Now this has the major scales cheat sheet and the major scales fingering cheat sheet. Now, I'm gonna show you those real quick. So major scales cheat sheet looks like this. And as you can see, it has all the major scales, all 12 of them, and which notes lit up are part of those scales. So you can start memorizing this. You can put this on your mirror as you brush your teeth. You can put it right by your piano. You can take this on the subway and memorize your major scales while you're you know, going to work or something like that. Now there's also gonna be a section with the major scales fingerings. This doesn't look as flashy, but it's equally as important. And it'll show you, okay, for a C major scale, here's the fingering you use for your right and your left hand for all the notes. The reason this is so important is if you don't drill in the correct fingering right from the get-go, there's a good chance you're gonna drill in the wrong habits and sloppy fingering and it's gonna take twice as long to correct later. So we also have the harmonic minor scales cheat sheet and fingerings. I don't have time in this lesson to go over why we learn harmonic and not melodic or natural, but I'll put that in another video. And this is the most important part of this resources page. So by now you know why you need to learn your scales, but you don't know how to learn your scales. And scales are much, much more in depth than people think. This video is 55 minutes long and it gives you a scale workout plan, a step-by-step -step strategy to learn scales with the most scientifically proven uh, um, strategies and techniques and, and tactics and ways to practice them so you can learn them faster and ingrain them the correct way and you're not drilling in bad habits. So make sure you watch this video as well. All right, thanks a lot for watching this video. If you wanna get more videos like this and not miss out on any great piano content, hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell next to it. And as always, you can always sign up for the free Become a Piano Superhuman course and get access to all the lessons. Yes, it really is 100% free. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Peace out and happy practicing.